Uh, I can't pronounce this. Lincoln. Link Lincolnshire. Lincolnshire non-Muslim girls asked to wear hijab for a day. Is this is this a city in the UK? Yes, Eastern England. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. So non-Muslim girls in Lincolnshire are being asked to wear a hijab for a day to raise awareness of discrimination. So who's asking this? Qada Muhammad said she came up with the idea in response to a number of incidents where girls wearing hijabs were subjected to abuse. The the campaigner who is a member of London of, of Lincoln Muslim Sisters Forum said it would be it would lead to better understanding. She hopes secondary schools across the country will sign up. The hijab day to be held in November will help non-Muslim children learn more about what it is like to wear a hijab and the reasons behind it, she, she said. This is such a fucking stupid bad idea in so many different ways. I don't even know where to start. First of all, while you're at it, while you're at it, I mean, people these days really hate white supremacy, don't they, right, Shabam? Why can't we just... To to raise awareness about what you know white supremacy why don't we just get kids to wear kkk costumes as well just to get bring a little bit more understanding of 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 the other side why don't we just do that like i know i know that the kkk costumes are symbols of oppression and bigotry but but so is their fucking hijab like what the fuck is uh, what and so she, look look how how she ends this she says uh, to to teach the children non-muslim children to learn more about what it is like to wear hijab and the reasons behind it okay well while you had to teach them that the, what they're wearing is the symbol of ownership over women right just remind them that while they're wearing hijab they are the, uh, children right so tell them that they are sexually appealing to men as children and they're wearing it to, 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 because they're sex objects and that's all they're all to men and that's why they're wearing the hijab as children. Remind them why, why there is mandatory for women in Islam to start wearing it around age 9 because you, you are allowed to be fucked as, as a girl when you're 9. Okay, remind them about that. This is why the age is 9. Um, what else you should tell them? Uh, tell them that slave women didn't have to wear their hijab because they were already slave. Already somebody already knew that they had an owner. This is why women, the free women, have, were wearing the hijab because it was. You need to make clear that hey, this is my fucking property. Don't you touch it. It's mine. Okay. That's why you wear the hijab. But again, and it, and this is such a fucking stupid idea. But th this is going to backfire. Do you think like this is going to bring more tolerance towards Muslims? People are going to see this and going to be like, okay, make your hijab day. See what happens. People, are, The people that hate Muslims are going to just use this as an example for everything that is wrong with UK. And like, look what the fuck is that happening to our country. And it's just going to make people hate Muslims even more. If you want... You know, if you want to create more tolerance of Muslims, which I encourage, I encourage tolerance of Muslims, not of Islam, but of Muslims, okay? Just make kids hang out with Muslims. You don't have to make them wear symbols of oppression. Just make them hang out with m girls that are already wearing the hijab. Just get them, make, get them have activities with each other. Go, like, do finger painting or whatever kids do. I don't know. Just hang, as when they hang out, make them do teamwork, make them do th projects that wouldn't go forward unless they figure out how to communicate with the other side. And how to, how, if they don't work with each other, if they don't uh, communicate with each other, the project wouldn't move forward, right? So whatever, they're wearing the hijab, but you, ha but the, you have to work with them. So you get to, you get to learn how to, um, you know, the more you communicate with people that look different from you, the more, the less of a deal it's going to be. Do that. Don't make. Don't wear the fucking hijab. What the, you know, we're you celebrating hijab for women is kind of like f black people celebrating chains. That's what it's like. Um, what do you think, Shopa? Okay, so I I usually think of something like uh, the exact opposite. So here I'm thinking like if the Muslim woman is saying like uh, let the non-Muslim girls uh, wear hijab to understand 
what it feels like to be a Muslim girl then is it possible that they will do the same being Muslim girls they will remove the hijab in public and Oof. feel how the non-Muslim girls feel in public <laughs> boy good luck suggesting that your school's gonna get shut down they're gonna, gonna go like wow you asked you asked my daughter to take off the hijab I'm I'm a freaking bigot now <laughs> no yeah what the fuck no, see actually you're right there's a huge double standard here like if you say like oh like let's get the non-muslim girls wear the hijab people are like oh that's so sweet you're encouraging understanding but go on like you're like go out to school and be like hey muslim girls let's have a day where you take off your hijab let's just see how that goes <laughs> you could the shit storm that you're gonna start with that that's a very good point show by the way uh jeffrey is saying no hijab day how about that no face covering day uh, oh this is says how about the same thing yeah how about everyone else the yellow star of david and oh wow okay no we're gonna get the we're gonna get removed from youtube if good uh -oh. okay good grief yeah but we agree with you yeah we agree with you especially people need to understand what the point of the hijab is the point of it, you know, it's very interesting because a lot of the a lot of the people on the left ever say that again, not all hashtag, not all of the left that oh, we shouldn't sexualize women, sexualize women, like oh, we're objectifying women. What do you think the hijab is doing? You know, what do you think it's up is it's doing the exact opposite? You know, you look at oh, the makeup industry, the beauty industry, they're treating women like sex objects and nothing but sex objects. Well, that's exactly what the hijab is doing. The hijab is saying like, hey, w women represent sexual desire. So cover it up. That's what women are. It's modesty culture. It, modesty culture to the extreme. If modesty is interesting because the same people that are defending the hijab in the West, they wouldn't defend modesty culture in any other version of it, right? If you say like women, co you know, don't wear shirts, cover up. You know, oh, your arms are showing cover up. They would be like, what the fuck is this? But then when you get the most extreme version of modesty, uh, modesty culture, which comes in the form of a job, they're like, yeah, that's great. That's beautiful. That's, you, know. you know, you don't have to, you can tolerate people without making excuses for their shitty ideas, okay? I don't know why people can't learn that. You could be friends with people that have shitty ideas, while pointing out that they have shitty ideas. These two things are not contradictory. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.